Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews, and today I'm talking about how to find kitchen knives made in the USA. A good set of kitchen knives, and especially a good chef's knife, will last you a really long time. It can be frustrating if you buy some poorly made knives that aren't well balanced, don't sharpen well, and in general just can't cut hot butter. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to spot kitchen knives that are made in the USA, my top picks for American made kitchen knives, and make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we'll be answering some frequently asked questions about some of the biggest names in the kitchen knives industry. I've also written about this exact same topic before, so check in the description below for a link to that article, or you can just Google All American Reviews Kitchen Knives. And if you're passionate about buying American made products, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to head over to allamericanreviews.com that you'll find a ton of research and buying guides on shopping American made. All right, let's get into today's video on how to find kitchen knives made in the USA. First up, let's cover how to spot which kitchen knives are made in the USA. We'll hit materials in a second, but first I wanna cover the two major methods for making knives that are sitting in your knife block or kitchen drawer. The first method is stamping. Stamp knives are pretty much what they sound like. They are stamped out by a machine and are generally cheaper to mass produce. So they are often more attractive for manufacturers who are also outsourcing a lot of their other production overseas, attracted by that kind of cheaper labor and cheaper material costs. You can still get some great stamp knives though. Just make sure to look out for high quality steel, which we'll get to in a second, as well as a full tang knife, which means that the knife blade extends the full length of the handle. The second method for making kitchen knives is forging. Forge knives are essentially handmade, so if you have the wallet for it, they're definitely going to be the highest quality and made by an expert craftsman. A lot of them have a pretty unique look to them and are heavier, but you don't actually feel the extra weight because of how well balanced they are. Forge knives are generally made with higher quality steel and other materials, so let's dive into sourcing for those materials. We're going to focus on steel, which like I mentioned in previous videos on tools, gun safes, and other topics, it has been proven that American-made steel is significantly stronger than steel from China, so you need to watch out for the country of origin there. Japanese steel is also very popular in kitchen knives. Japan is the world's third largest producer of steel. China and India are the top two and the US is fourth. Not only should you look for the country of origin, but there are several different types of steel that are used in kitchen knives, each with their pros and cons. The first is carbon steel, which is super sharp and easy to sharpen, but is typically prone to rusting and staining more so than other steel types and just generally requires a little bit more maintenance. Second is stainless steel, which like the name suggests, is less prone to rusting and staining, um, but doesn't take an edge as well as high carbon steel. So manufacturers made high carbon stainless steel, which does take an edge very well. You'll also see a term thrown around frequently called Damascus type or Damascus knives. This is actually not a material, but a complex forging process where the knife manufacturer is layering at least two different types of steel together to combine the positive properties of both materials. Damascus type is most commonly found in Japanese kitchen knives. So if you see the term Damascus, just make sure to do your research on the country of origin and make sure that they are using steel that is American made. Finding the country of origin can be a little tougher these days if you're shopping online. If you're in store, we have Title 19, Chapter 4, Section 1304 of the U.S. Code helping us out, which requires imported products to be labeled with their country of origin on the product or packaging. But that actually doesn't apply to marketing materials. So make sure to give the brand a call or hit us up at All American Reviews. And also make sure to watch out for the Made in the USA language that the knife manufacturer is using, if they're using it at all. Watching out for those qualifiers like assembled in the USA or made in the USA with imported materials. I cover those tips and more telltale signs in my full video on how to tell if a product is made in the USA, which I've linked in the description below. All right, now that we've covered some tips on how to spot kitchen knives made in the USA, let's get into my top picks for American made kitchen knives. Now there are a lot of good knife manufacturers made in the USA and more than I have time to cover in today's video. So for all of our research on kitchen knives made in the USA, make sure to head over to All American Reviews. I've linked that article in the description below 
Or like I said earlier, you can just Google All American Reviews Kitchen Knives and you should see us there. Also make sure to leave a comment below with your favorite American made kitchen knives or if you have a question. First up is Rada Cutlery. Rada Cutlery has been making knives in the USA all the way from raw materials to construction since 1948. I think they have some solid starter sets. I actually have their starter set myself. So if you're looking for a good gift for a new homeowner or just need a few reliable knives in the kitchen, definitely check out Rada Cutlery. Next is Cutco. These guys are synonymous with American made knives and aren't just the door to door salesmen that you probably encountered growing up. You can get any of their knives online and they have both great knife sets and individual knives for both kitchen knives as well as table steak knives. They are also backed by the classic Cutco Forever Guarantee and have a lot of good customization options for the handle and accessories. Next is New West Knife Works. New West knives are a bit more expensive, but they are making some incredibly high quality chef knives. If you're looking for more of a classic look with wood handles, definitely check out their Ironwood series. But my favorite is their G Fusion knives. I've gotten the opportunity to test these out personally, and let me tell you, it's like art in the kitchen. So if you're willing to splurge a bit for a high quality chef knife, definitely check out New West Knife Works. Next is Warther Cutlery. Warther Cutlery is a family operated business of third and fourth generation knife makers based out of Dover, Ohio. They are handcrafting all of their kitchen knives from CPM S35VN stainless steel, which is a really high quality stainless steel made by a company called Crucible Industries. I'm a big fan of these knives. They look super cool and they perform really well in the kitchen. And the last brand I'll cover in today's video is R. Murphy Knives. R. Murphy dates all the way back to 1850 and they are based in Massachusetts. They are actually owned by another prominent knife maker, Dexter Russell, which also has some American made options. R. Murphy Knives puts a ton of care into each and every knife that they make in their US facility and they come at a pretty affordable price for the quality that you're getting. I will note that some of their knives use Honduran rosewood in the handle, but otherwise their steel is sourced here. Now let's get to some frequently asked questions. First up, is Chicago Cutlery made in the USA? Despite the local flavor of their name, Chicago Cutlery is not made in the USA. They are owned by a larger parent company called Corel Brands that also has brands like Pyrex and Snapware in their portfolio, but their knives are manufactured in China. Next are Mercer Culinary Knives made in the USA. And the answer is no, they use a lot of Japanese steel in their knives and most of their manufacturing is done in Taiwan. Next are Lampson Knives made in the USA. So Lampson's roots go all the way back to 1837. They are one of the oldest cutlery manufacturers in the United States. They have a lot of different options if you're looking for a good chef's knife, bread knife, or something else, but they do source a lot of their steel from Germany, which kind of just rubs me the wrong way with American made all over their logo. If you want something 100% American made from Lampson, check out their vintage series. And lastly, just a few other brands to watch out for that are pretty popular in the kitchen knives industry. Wustoff uh, is a German knife maker that you'll see thrown around a lot. And then two other brands, Shun and Global, are Japanese knife makers. So just steer clear of those folks. All right, that's it for this video on how to find kitchen knives made in the USA. If y'all have any questions, drop a comment below or shoot us a message at All American Reviews and we'll find out for you and write something up. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe and thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See y'all next time.